Hello guys, it's Josh here from Atomic Cards with another Pokemon unboxing for you. And today I've got the final one of our World Championship 2022 decks. And this is the ADP deck that was used by Andre Skubal at the World Championships. Heavily features the Arcus V-Star card that we have got there. And this is the fourth one of these decks. There's four in total, so this is the last one. We've opened up the last three on the last three days. So if you do want to go and check out those videos, I will pop links down below in the description so you can find them easily. And then do let us know which one is your favourite, which ones you'll be picking up, or if you have picked them up, how well they have fared for you. So let's flip this one over, have a look on the back, see what we have got in here. You have got your World Championship deck, you've got a booklet, you've got a pin, a coin, a deck box, a playmat and poster, and a co-card for the online game. So there's the deck that you will be using. I should leave that on there for a second for you all to have a look. It's got Arceus in and it's got Flying Pikachu and Hisuian Decidueye. And then there, up there is a little description of... Andre and the deck and this one is the one that won the Masters division so this one beat the um the Mew deck that we looked at yesterday beat him in the last eight and um, before going all the way to win the championships and like the others it has all got this London style on it so it is taken from the World Championships, all the artwork is inspired by the World Championships. So they are a very cool box if you are a seal collector, want to keep them sealed. But for us, we are going to be opening it up and checking out the deck um, and then using it in our upcoming uh, trade and play day that we've got at Atomic Cards. So we'll be keeping these decks in the store to help, uh, help teach the kids how to play and um, give them a little lesson using some of these World Championship decks. So here we go. This is that playmat that was in there. Again, featuring all that World Championship styling, all the World Championship art. It is unique to the London World Championships. They do do a unique set every time they have a World Championships. And on the back, you have got this lovely poster. It says London 2022 on it with that art style and all the little mini posters that they created as well. So that would look cool on your wall if you've got a different playmat that you like to use. We have then got the London 2022 booklet. Now we've looked at this every day on every video. So if you have been watching all the videos that we put up, you might want to skip one or two minutes of this as we just go through it again. I'm not going to stop and read every page. But this is for you to look at, guys. You can pause if you would like to. So there he is. There's Andre Scubo up there. And there is Andre Shison down there. That's the uh, Mew deck. As you can see, he is Masters Champion. A couple of pictures. And in this bit, guys, it goes through all the decks that uh, came in the top four in each division. So you can see what other people have used. You will notice some of the decks are very similar. So Palky is in here a few times. Um, but they haven't chosen to give us those decks multiple times. They've tried to give us a bit of variety. There you go. There's another Arceus um, deck. So you've got two Arceus decks very close together. They've tried to um, add another Arceus deck. All the Masters using Arceus. Um, apart from Palky out there. So yeah, they have tried to give us quite a bit of variety in the decks that we have got. And of course, you've got all the world champions from the other different um, disciplines that were at the world championships. Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Video Games, etc. So there you go. That's your nice little booklet. And then in here, we have got the deck. So each of the decks has got a different kind of color coordination with it. So each one has got a different back to it. And each one's got a different deck box. But they have all got the same pin, which is the cool Beefy to Pikachu pin. Very nice. So if you do buy this box, if you do want all the decks and you buy this four times, you will get four of the same pin. Here is the coin. Again, with Beefy to Pikachu on. And the 2022. So quite a cool, cool looking coin. 
pop him there. There's the plastic, we'll just get rid of that. And then we have got the code card. So there is the code card. Again, guys, this code can only be claimed once after it's used. If you've already claimed a deck code and you try to use a second one, you'll just get um, jewels and stuff. So if you have already claimed one, please don't claim this. If someone who wants the, uh, you get the deck box, you get sleeves and you get something else and you get a coin. So yeah, there you go, guys. That is the code card for that. And then we have got the two Arceus cards. So this is your Arceus V-Star. Um, this is why these are different from your normal cards and why these decks are so cheap. So as you can see on the Arceus V-Star here on the right, it has not got any texture on the card. It's also not hollow. It's just a plain Arceus V-Star card printed on a piece of card. This is to let the kids basically have a world championship deck. So these only cost £15. Um, for the whole deck, whereas one of these Arceus cards is going to set you back between £5 and £10 just on its own. So if you're building this deck out of um, standard cards, it's going to cost you a lot more than the £14.50. But that's why they've done it like this, to get them in the hands of the kids. And of course, this deck is not tournament legal. You cannot turn up to a tournament with this deck and use it in the state it's in. And they will know that because this is the back of the card over here on the left. So each card has got a different back to it than the standard um, Pokemon card. The standard blue with a Pokeball in the middle. It's got a World Championships design back. And for each different deck, it's a different color. But yeah, so that's what you've got. So if you do want to mix these up and put different cards into these decks, um, you will have to obviously put them all into sleeves so that you can't tell which ones are your World Championships cards and you know what card you're going to draw. But there you can see that is the Arceus. Uh, the other difference with these cards is they have all got a little signature on it. So you see here above where the energies are, there is a little signature on it. And that is a signature of uh, Andre, who is the guy who used this deck. So each card has got that in it. So there you go, that is the first two cards. This is then the deck box, which is quite cool. It's basically a same as you get on a pack of cards. Only bad thing about this though, guys, is that you cannot sleeve um, the cards to put them in this deck box. They will not fit um, unless you use penny sleeves, um, but then you'll still be able to see the back. So yeah, these cards will probably have to stay raw, which how we will keep them if you want to use that deck box. But here we go. This is the whole, the whole deck. So you are starting off with those three Arceus V-Star cards. You then get the four Arceus V cards as well. Flying Pikachu from Celebrations, you've got two of him. And then you've got three Flying Pikachu Vs as well. Got two Hisui and Decidui V Stars, great for the V Star power. Draw cards, so you have eight in your hand. Decidui Vs, we've got two of them as well. B Barrel. Once during a turn, you may draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. So a good ability to have um, on the bench if you need to get some cards out. Two Bidoof. Luminium. Again, Luminium V. Great ability on there. Search your deck for a supporter card. We always need supporter cards. Pump Kaboo. Again, you may discard a stadium in play. That's the real thing for Pump Kaboo. Crobat V, we all know Crobat V's ability. Draw cards so you have six in your hand. And then we've got all the trainers. The boss's orders to switch your opponent's Pokemon. Marnie to draw a brand new hand. Professor's Research again is going to get you a brand new hand. Ryan, Path to the Peak to stop those uh, pesky abilities. Quick Ball, Ultra Ball, Evolution Incense, Switch to switch your Pokemon. And then we've got the Energy cards at the back. Electric Energy, Fighting Energy, Double Turbo Energies, and a Capture Energy to get you that extra Pokemon out at the end. 
So there you go, guys. That is what you can expect from Andre Scrubble's ADP deck. Thank you all for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day.